Hello everyone and welcome to a new video from Your Destiny. I'm Eddie the Chump and today we've got a rapid fire pulse comparison between the Time Worn Spire and the Lincoln Green. Now I say it's a comparison, but really they're the same weapon, aren't they? Because of the Attack of the Reskins debacle. These two are very, very close. Yes, they do have some different perks, but they are essentially the same weapon. But if you are looking for something different and like to use pulse rifles that are only useful in medium range, these two are the best. And this video is going to find out which one you should be using. Now on PC, there is a little bit of buzz around the Time Worn on Spire. Early on the life cycle of the game, particularly on console, people found out that the Lincoln Green was quite potent, as long as you stayed at the ranges where it was actually effective. So what's very similar about these guns? Well, it turns out, quite a lot. Both are rapid fire 540M archetype pulse rifles. Now that informs us quite a lot about how we should be using these guns. These guns are mid-range melt monsters. I have a sneaking suspicion that they perform actually a tad better on console where aim assist is strong. Obviously on PC that's not an issue. That's both a good and bad thing which I'll go into later. Just as a super quick surface run over, the Time Worn Spire has a range advantage, whereas the Lincoln Green has a better special perk, which is Quick Draw, which really adds to its nimble, quick handling reputation. So let's go through each gun and how I like to use them. For the Time Worn Spire, as far as sight options go, I go for range a lot with these weapons because that's where they lack, so I go with the Red Dot Micro. Likewise, I go for the Accurized Rounds instead of the Tactical Mag. You do lose a bit of stability here and there, but on PC, recoil isn't that much of a factor because of the mouse and how well you can control it. Now because of that, Zen Moment is a bit of a wasted perk on PC. It does do stuff, it absolutely does. When you shoot things, your recoil is easier to control. But if you're playing on a platform where recoil doesn't really matter, does that perk end up doing anything? A lot of people have this idea in their mind about the Time Worn Spire just being a better Lincoln Green. In my experience, at least on PC, that's not exactly true. Now if we look at the Lincoln Green, I go for range here too on my site. The Model 6 loop suits me absolutely fine. For the second perk, I actually choose Steady Rounds over Alloy Mag. This will be particularly helpful on console, as the recoil for the Lincoln Green can be a little bit uncontrollable. That's actually a little bit odd, because it goes against my general principle for these weapons. Grab range where you can on these guns, people. If you don't, it's actually amazing how quickly their damage starts to drop off. But what the Lincoln Green really does have going for it is Quick Draw, like I mentioned earlier. If you're the kind of player that's running around constantly, sliding into engagements, you will find quick draw a huge benefit with this weapon. And that's the biggest reason why I like the Lincoln Green. I've recommended to my friends that they all give it a go and they seem to think it's rubbish. Now both of these guns do suffer from one vital problem and that's that they're mid-range hand cannon competitors. Now on console I would actually argue that these are better than hand cannons. But I don't play on console, I play on PC. And if there is a gun archetype in a very even and spread out meta I would say that hand cannons are that dominant gun on that platform. Now I expect a lot from these guns. I remember playing on console and liking both of them. However, it's not unfair to say that they regularly lose out against hand cannons. And because of that, you have to be very specific with how you use them. I had my greatest success with both of these guns when I played quite standoffish, but not at too far a range, where a much higher range scout or something like that would be a better choice. What they're really good at is when you bait someone into pushing you a little bit further out than they really should, and then you can really punish them. I will say this, on PC, if you're hitting too many body shots, or you're just whiffing the head, you're going to be in big, big trouble. The time to kill isn't that fantastic. However, if you are hitting every shot in the head, that time to kill will feel quite quick, despite it not actually being so. I had a bit of an odd experience with these weapons when trying to review them. With both of them, I went on massively long streaks in certain games. Now, it's my suspicion that I did that against players who, how shall I kindly put it, weren't exactly the greatest or maybe didn't even have their monitors turned on. In fact, earlier today, I went on such a long streak with the Lincoln Green, I got a We Ran Out of Medals medal. And it was in Iron Banner. Saladin was losing his mind. So I think that's the best place to put them. They're definitely guns that you can use, but against really good organized players or dominant hand cannon teams that are just rushing you all the time, you'll probably find it difficult to do well with them like I did. In a way, these guns summarize why pulse rifles aren't a great choice unless it's something very specific, like the Vigilance Wing, if you want to play defensively and at range. There just doesn't seem to be a range or an engagement type where they're the absolute best option. But I do find pulse rifles incredibly mechanically satisfying 
satisfying to use and I'm sure a lot of you watching this video do too. However, there is one black mark against these weapons which really makes them quite low tier and that's the fact that I wouldn't recommend these guns for PvE. These weapons are strictly for the Crucible in my opinion and that's for the simple fact that they run out of ammo so quick because they shoot so fast. It feels like you run out of your reserve ammo super super quick and if a gun isn't good in both areas of the game or great in one of them it's kind of difficult to recommend them. Yes they are fun to use and confusingly I had some of my best scores with them than any other weapon but I do think that's a little bit misleading. As for which one I recommend that does totally depend on what platform you're playing on. I think the advantages the Time Worn Spire has over the Lincoln Green aren't as noticeable on PC whereas the quickness of the handling and particularly quick draw are of a direct benefit there. If you're playing on console I do subscribe to the thought that the Time Worn Spire is just a better reskin of the Lincoln Green so I'd use that on that platform. I just want to take a moment to say thank you to you guys for the great reception of our previous weapon videos. You guys obviously seem to enjoy them so we're definitely planning on making more and also thank you for all your suggestions in the comment section for weapons that you'd like to see me review. As soon as I get some of them to drop you'll see videos up on the channel. I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to leave a rating. If you never want to miss another one of our videos again please click the bell icon next to the subscribe button on our channel to join the notification squad you'll be in good company. And finally please follow the Your Destiny Twitter so you can find updates about new videos and other cool stuff. I've been Eddie the Chump and until next time, 